In this video, I'll take you through the steps required to build a custom model for Watson visual recognition that'll allow the visual recognition service detect objects within an image. Uh, to get started then, I've already logged into my IBM Cloud account, and if you don't have one already, you'll need to create a new instance of the visual recognition service. You can do that through the IBM Cloud catalog here and go to the AI section um, and work with the visual recognition tile uh, from the catalog. I know I already have an instance of uh, visual recognition. So if I go to uh, my IBM Cloud dashboard and go to services and filter my services based on vision, I should find that I have an instance of the visual recognition service already created. If I click into that then, I can click on the create a custom model button here, which in turn will open Watson Studio and allow us access the uh, built-in tooling that's available for visual recognition here. Uh, to create then a custom model that will detect objects within an image, uh, we go ahead and click on this create model button here. As I haven't used visual recognition um, with Watson Studio before, I'm asked to create a new uh, project here. So I'll go ahead and I'll create this project and I'll call it Custom VR Models. Um, I will select the object storage instance that I'm going to use to store any of the data that I use to train um, a model here. You'll see I already had a set of um, object storage instances that I could choose from. If you don't have one of those already, you'll be prompted to create one. Um, and with this detail, I can go ahead and click on Create to create the new project in Watson Studio. Once our new project has been created, we're prompted to create a new collection. And it's this collection that we'll use to add images that'll be used to train the custom model um, that'll allow Watson Visual Recognition uh, detect uh, objects within uh, images. Um, for our new collection here, we'll call this um, red dots, whoops, red dots. Um, and I will apply that name here. Next thing we'll do is we'll add the images that we use to train our custom model. So I've prepared um, a number of uh, images <laughs> that include uh, red dots here. So if I go and I add, um, let's say these three images as uh, training data that we're gonna use to um, create this new custom model. And you'll see each of these images that I've added have a certain number of red dots included. What we'll need to do next then is label the uh, data that's included in these images so that Watson Visual Recognition knows um, uh, what are the objects that we're looking to, to train it to be able to recognize in, in future images. Uh, to do that then, we're taken to this annotator uh, UI and to label the objects, we'll click on this Add New Object button here. And with the cursor, we'll draw a box around the object. Let's try and get it tight if we can. The object that we're looking to detect. And we'll give the object a name, we'll call it a red dot, and we'll add Once um, this first red dot is being labeled, we can go ahead uh, whoops, sorry, and, and label the remainder of the dots that are included in the image in the same way. So I'll put a box around this particular dot, um, try and make it tight, add the label, red dot again, that's another red dot, and I'll click on add. And we'll continue to do that for each of the dots in the image. Once I've labeled each of the um, dots that are included in the image, um, what I can do now is click on uh, done. And once I click done, um, I can go back to view all images and I'll need to label each of these uh, further images um, in the same way, right? So I'll need to go in and, you know, for the five red dots that are included here, same, click add new object, um, highlight the object with a box, um, label it with a name, and click on Add. I'll do that then for each of the images, the three images that I've uploaded to this collection here. Um, but I won't take you through that as I do it, and, and we'll come back in a moment once I've labeled all the images and we're ready to train the new custom model. 
Okay, so using the uh, annotator tool, I've just taken a moment to go ahead and add labels for each of the um, images that I've included in this new collection. You'll see um, for this one, you know, I've, I've labeled five red dots and in this one I've labeled six red dots. And so now that we have the training data um, available for the custom model to go ahead and be uh, well trained, I can click on this uh, train model button here. Training will take probably just a, a couple of moments, so um, let's let that um, progress and we'll come back once the model has been trained and we can test to see that we're uh, able to identify objects within um, new images. Okay, so now that our custom model has been trained to detect um, objects within an image, in this instance uh, red dots within an image, we can go ahead and um, test our model just to see uh, well how well it performs when um, being given new images to see can it pick up uh, whether there's red dots in the image. Um, so um, from uh, this page here I can click on the uh, test uh, tab and I can add a new file. So let's say uh, we've trained with four, five and six so let's let's give it three red dots and click on open here um, and you'll see that you know quite accurately and, and quite confidently actually the model now picks up that there's three red dots in this particular image. Um, and same again, we could go and clear the results and test with another picture. Um, eight red dots in this one, I think. Yeah, click on open. And we should see that, you know, there are eight red dots picked up. And again, um, very confidently um, by the uh, newly trained uh, model. Um, so we can see that, you know, our training has, has, has built a model that... Um, can identify custom objects within an image. If we wanted to go back to the model then and add more training data, a nice feature just to, to show this to you quickly around auto labeling of um, the uh, training data that's provided. Uh, if I go back to assets here and click on the model here, um, and if I say edit and retrain, I can browse and let's say I add, um, you know, eight red dots as a new image um, uh, as training data that we'll use um, with this um, uh, model that we built just a moment ago. And if I click into this, you'll see the auto label button has been enabled here. Um, and so if I go ahead and click uh, auto label, the model goes ahead um, and adds label data for each of the eight red dots that have been picked up with uh, in the image. And I can go ahead and say, you know, add image here to save us the uh, time, I guess, of manually going ahead and drawing boxes around each of the uh, red dots within the image. And then as before, I guess we can go back um, and uh, you know, retrain the model with the uh, additional training data that'll you know, help improve uh, accuracy even further when uh, testing the model in future uh, by clicking this train model button here. Um, so I hope that you've uh, found this uh, quick walkthrough useful. This new uh, feature um, within visual recognition is one I know that's been long sought after. And so I'm excited to share this detail with you as to how you'll uh, go ahead and, and use it. Um, thanks for your time. Bye bye.